There are a lot of firsts that are exciting for both children and parents. First words, first steps, first time using the big boy potty all come to mind. Or big girl potty. Mm -hmm. But there are some milestones that can also be pretty scary for youngsters. And one of those is that first haircut. Dr. Lewis first has ideas on how to ease those fears. Parents of toddlers have been asking me some hair-raising questions about how to help those toddlers get through that first haircut without being scared. Well, let me see if I can do more than trim the surface and cut to the chase on this particular topic. I mean, think about it. A toddler walking into a barber shop or hair salon can be kind of scary. There are new sights, new sounds, new smells. They're oohed and odd by customers. They're then placed in a huge chair, wrapped in an apron, a smock, and then approached by a stranger who's got a sharp object. I mean, you'd be scared too. So the name of the game to make this fun for your toddler is prepare your toddler in advance. For example, you may not want to call it a haircut because they may associate a cut with pain, but instead a trim. And you may need to reassure your toddler that the hair does grow back. It's also important to find a barber shop or a hair salon that is child friendly. You want to find one that basically doesn't tip your child's head back into a sink and has smocks or towels that are nice and colorful and lots of fun for kids. You may want to take your child into that shop or better yet have your own hair cut while your child watches to get comfortable with this. And if your child's worried about getting hair cut, even at home you might distract your child and cut a small lock of hair off and show your child that it doesn't hurt. When the big day comes, you want to bring them into the shop. You may not want to put them on that booster seat, but sit with them with the child in your lap. Turn the seat a little way from the mirror unless your child really wants to watch. My guess is things will go quite well. You might even bring your child's transitional object or stuffed animal and offer that animal to get it trimmed too. And if the haircut goes superbly, call for, even if it doesn't, call friends, relatives, let them know your child experienced this. Your child will feel proud and the next haircut will be even better. So that hopefully, with tips like this, your worries and your child's worries will be hair today and gone tomorrow when it comes to getting your toddler through that first haircut. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from the University of Vermont Children's Hospital reminding you to always be first with your kids.